from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I like the way you think. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show, now six days a week. Here we are with wide open telephones at 1-800-5800-TOM. Tomorrow I'll be in Las Vegas. And we will be broadcasting uh, there from 2 to 6 live in Southern California on 97.1 FM Talk. So uh, here our Saturday show. It's our first Saturday show. And uh, if you do not live in Southern California you'd like to hear the show, you can go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. That's blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 2 and 6 p.m. Pacific Time, and there will be... 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And your telephone calls here. Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Okay. Good to talk to you. I wish I would have met, or not met you, but heard your radio show a couple years ago. Before. Well, I wish you would have, too. I could have bought a new car. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you know what I'm calling about? Uh, my credit have absolutely none established. I'm 20 years old and haven't been able to figure out a way to do that. When I first went to try and buy my car. Didn't I just get a call about this? Yeah, kind of. And I, I was actually, I'm running on an ambulance right now. If anybody sees those that motorcycle down on the 110, I was at that just a couple minutes ago. Oh, very nice. So I wasn't able to hear that. Was that pretty uh, messy? Yeah, no, not, not at all. He wasn't hurt, just bitching a little bit. Wow. Uh. Yeah, but um, anyway, so what's the best way for me to start establishing my credit? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the other guy. If you go to the bank, you tell them you want a secured credit card. Okay, and most banks have these? Most of them do. When, here's the deal. You would have to deposit, say, $500 okay. in a savings account, which will pay practically zero interest right now. Okay. And you'll get a credit card with a $500 credit line. Okay, sweet. So it's backed by the 500 you put in. And this called us just a secured credit card? Yeah. A secured loan credit card? Yeah, like a secured Visa or a secured MasterCard. Then what you do is use it and then pay it off on time and show a record of payment. Okay, what's going to be my best option to make the minimum payments and slowly pay it off or just pay it off completely every month? You, well, I think you should pay it off completely every month just because I think that's how you should always treat credit cards. Okay, because yeah, I've heard that making the minimum payments, just not letting it get out of control, is the best way. Well, it's not the best way. You could, you can certainly do it that way, but do you really want to pay interest? Yeah, no, not at all. Well, that's what you would be doing. All right. Well, thank you very much for that advice. Hopefully, it'll work. Um, I know I'm on an ambulance. Probably shouldn't do this. Take me out with a bong rip, man. There thank you me. go, Jeff. You ready? No cough. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Fernando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you? Great. Good. Hey, just wanted to uh, get your thoughts on a few things. I I, I recently heard this thing is uh, they're they're calling it the the conspiracy uh, theory about the Amero. Uh, what th what, this what is, are your thoughts on this? I think it's total fiction. It's another internet urban folklore tale. You know, anybody can put a video on YouTube. And say that right. something's a fact. Okay, so do you think uh, that there will ever be the union of, uh, you know, how they were saying, Canada, Mexico, and United States? Well, I don't know about North? ever, but there, I don't think there's any specific plan involving that, especially right now. That's Yeah, that's true, but I just, uh, I don't know too much about it. I just wanted to get your thoughts. No, I I, I, by the way, I, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. You think so? No, I've I've seen what the euro's done for Europe. The uh, the economy in Europe, the European Union, has been pretty strong since the euro. But what do you think about the? I mean, NAFTA has already been passed. You know, what do you think about the union of the three countries? I wouldn't even have a problem with that. Hmm. I wouldn't. I mean, let's okay. face it. At one time or another, the United States and Mexico pretty much were the same country. True. Very true. So I, you know, th these things don't matter so much to me. Uh, people get all upset about this stuff. I don't think it's likely to happen. I don't think it's on the verge of happening. I don't think we're on the verge of having one currency for North America. I see yeah. no hard evidence of that, except some 
screaming uh, maniac with a YouTube video. <laughs> Where, where's, where's the beef? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think what happened is they got together and they, they took a couple of really good bong hits and they just put up a radio and started talking. Well, about that's what I'm talking about. Mess. Hey, Tom, can you do me a favor and take me out Lacey Peterson style with the thank you, Jesus? Well, that would be tasteless. Amber. Hey. Amber. Amber, Mitchell, Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Frank on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Pretty good, Long Frank. Time, first time. Thank you, Frank. Hey, politics set aside, everything, I've got the most important question in LA for this weekend. Is it going to be the true blue or the best paid team in college football? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the big question, of course, the big USC-UCLA uh, game. Uh, first of all, let me just say, I don't take sides of this, not because I'm politically correct. You've got to be kidding me. Well, here's the thing. I'm not a graduate of any college, much less these two. How do you pick which one you like if you didn't go to either one? Well, I, I, I'm a UCLA grad, so... But that's yeah, my that's point. If, if you didn't go... But here's the deal. If you didn't go to one of them or the other, how would you pick? Uh, you know, just got to be a fan of either one since, you know, since the only pro football team is, you know, the other school. Oh, you right. know. Well, well, I see what you, I see what you're saying about that, and you're right. It's the only football we get in Los Angeles. That's certainly true. But honestly, uh, how do you decide uh, which team you're rooting for? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good question. You know, I don't really ask. You know, I got a lot of people that I work with that you know have never gone to either school. But you know, the majority of them all of a sudden within the last five years have become fans of the other school. And I'm like, come on, you guys never you don't even know what that school's about. <laughs> Really annoying. Right. And, uh, you know, everyone's got these uh, ideas and these uh, stereotypes about people who went to one school or the other. And uh, which school is better and which school is not better. Blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't see how... I, by the way, this is a general opinion I have about college sports in general. I watch college sports. There was a time when I didn't watch them at all. I watch them. Because I want to see who's going to be coming to pro football or pro basketball in the future. But but uh, honestly speaking, it's very hard for me to get revved up for any of these teams. Really? Because I never went, I didn't finish college. And the, the college I went to had like club football. <laughs> We're not like a big powerhouse uh, in that uh, respect. But you know what? The, even besides the game, the best thing is before the game. I'll say one thing. Some of those fans from the other school, they're about the best tailgaters. But, you know, we still take the betting. We still All right, there you go. Down. Who's got the best tailgaters? I mean, we're not talking about football here anymore. We're talking about booze. Oh, is that what you do? I didn't remember. <laughs> yes, well, that's, no, but, that's uh, my But point. on the field, honestly, I hate to say it, but I think they're going to stop us this year. I hate to say it, but that other team is just too good, too up. Well, yeah, USC is a very good team. There's no doubt about that. And they've been very good uh, in a lot of recent years, as you know. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, that's, that's the way it is. Now, yeah. when I'm going to say I'm a front runner, I'm going to root for USC? No, no. I. It's very hard for me to pick a side. I'll wa Will I watch the game? Well, I'll be working when it's on, but I'll have it on in the studio for sure. Oh, all right. Well, that sounds like a... I will be on the, you know I'll be on the air tomorrow. Oh, you will be? Well, yes. it's going to be kind of hard. Well, well while, watching the game. while you're on the way to the game or on the way home, you know where to do. We're pumping on. The, we're tailgating. We'll have it on on the radio there. That's good. Yeah, what time's the game? 3.30? 1 o'clock. Oh, 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. All, All right. right, Tom. Well, i got to run. Uh, take me out of old school. All right, Frank. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Roger on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How's it going, buddy? It's going okay. It's good, good. I just wanted to touch base on two uh, things real quick. One of the things was uh, your caller uh, about the online thing. I don't know what he's talking about. I just played poker a week ago on a, on a certain website, and I, I bought it for $75. You know, they took it away from my bank, you know, wire transfer. And I cashed out for 300 and I went to the bank today, and I deposited that without any problems. 
Well, that so, could. Uh, that, by the way, these laws have not all been passed yet. No, I mean it is illegal, but people still play. People, I mean, there's hundreds and thousands of players playing on certain websites. I use three of them, and I've never had any problems. You know, cashing in, cashing out, and so on and so forth. So I just want to touch base on that. I, you know, I don't know what that guy is talking about. But other thing I wanted to ask you was, uh, I know you're going to be going to the fight tomorrow in yes. Vegas. What do you think, um, Pacquiao or De La Hoya? Well, we had this conversation uh, earlier in the show. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, would not, I, I said earlier, I would not even bother to go to the fight if I thought it was just going to be Oscar De La Hoya and just winning another fight. No, I got money on Pacquiao. I got yeah, and I, I, look, I've seen Pacquiao's last three fights on uh, pay-per-view, and i got to tell you something. This guy's a machine. I know, and you know what? I got money on him, and I got money that it's going to end before nine and a half rounds, and you know, hopefully it will be a fight. I don't and think, I, by the way, I don't agree with that. I think you'll lose that bet. Well, it's, it's not a big bet, but I, I No, but I, I think you this... You don't think anybody's going to knock each other out either? No, I think this fight's going 12 rounds. I do. I, I'll i be very surprised. The, the Pacquiao is... Uh, uh, you know, Oscar De La Hoya is not easy to knock out, and Norris oh, Pacquiao. I know, I know. And he's going to be better because, you know, he's, he's thinner and he's going to be faster. So, well, I just wanted, that's what I wanted to say. I just want to give my two cents on that. I hope you enjoy yourself. I know you're going to get laid 15,000 times over there over the weekend. <laughs> and, uh, hey, can you just take me out, Bong, bong Hit and, uh, what, let's see, Bong Hit and uh, Snoop Dogg? I certainly can. Yatch. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's wide open telephones on this Friday. We do it every Friday. And now take out your stopwatch for the shortest commercial break in history. Tom Likes one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. The Tom Likes Show. Was that break over already? God damn it. The Tom Likas Show. Shorter breaks, more phone calls, take them faster. Moving along. Oh, yeah. Did you take out the stop one? Three-minute break. Are you kidding me? Insane. Don't forget, our first Saturday show is tomorrow. We're now six days a week here in Los Angeles on 97.1 FM Talk. Here's some two to six Saturdays. Tomorrow's show will come from Las Vegas. Live, I'm going to see the Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao fight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And I will do the show from uh, Vegas and then uh, zip out of there and zip over to the fight. It's that simple. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's our telephone number. Don't forget, by the way, while we're at it, we're on seven days a week because on Sundays here in LA, you can hear the the Tasting Room every uh, Sunday from 5 to 7, where we talk about wine and uh, spirits and food and craft brews and all that stuff. It's 5 to 7 on Sunday, so uh, we got every base covered. Odds are when you turn on the radio, the odds are 50 50, I'm going to be on the air. That's <laughs> what it's turned into. Which is okay with me, that's fine. Kind of like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Andy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Um, quick question for you. Uh, you always preach guys to be single and so such a better lifestyle and everything. How come you yourself have personally been married a couple of times? Oh, it's the other way just... around. The reason I recommend guys be single is because I've been married four times. So. You didn't learn after three or you didn't learn after three times? Yeah, it's not a matter of whether I learned or not. You have to understand. My parents were married for forty years. And as a kid I believe that's the way it was done. And so I tried to emulate my parents. And the first time it didn't work out, um, I believed it was because I screwed up. I didn't do it right. I waited another nine years before I got married again. And then when I did, uh, the, the, the woman had an affair on me. So I thought it was my fault. And then I had another uh, marriage, uh, just kind of a, this was uh, kind of a get back at the ex-wife thing. I got married right away to somebody else. Okay. And then finally, uh, the fourth time around, I married somebody and stayed married for 10 years. But the bottom line is, uh, I believed as a kid that you get married and you stay married like so many of the callers. But I realized after having been married and divorced four times, it wasn't my fault. 
uh, the the institution of marriage is outdated. It's defunct. It's dead. There's no reason for it. Right. So do you think that um, they're just going to not make it... Uh it's just going to become like a joke like it is now, you know, 60% of couples get divorced or whatever. Do you think that they're going to, I don't know, make like anything special for people that stay married, you know, some sort of like monetary uh, reward for staying married for so long? I don't think that's ever going to happen. I mean, by the way, people who get married get all kinds of financial benefits. Uh, and I think that's one reason some of the people do get married, not because they're in love, but because of uh, what they think the benefits might be. Right, right. But uh, I don't think we should be rewarding people for staying married. I think we should reward people when they don't have children. Reward people for not having children? Correct. Yes. <laughs> Why is that? Because I believe that when you don't have children, you're not using the same amount of resources. You're not using the school system. You're not using the school lunch program, the vaccination system. Uh, you are not uh, using uh, SSI. There's a whole bunch of government services you will not be using. And okay, I yeah. think you should get some of the benefit of that. I see that. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's all my only question for you. All right, Andy. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, happy holidays. And the same to you. You know, I live on the 405 freeway, listening to your program between 5 and 7 every day, and I've been listening a lot about the auto industry and the yes. oil industry. Yes. And I have to throw my two cents into this and give your listeners something to chew on. All right. I'm pretty sure everybody's aware that when Henry Ford designed the first vehicle, it ran off of alcohol. There were more stills in the United States at that time than there were oil refineries. Then the advent of plastic came around to come up with cheaper, lightweight parts that would take the place of steel parts. Now, plastics are a synthetic, and that is what you receive when you refine oil. Is anybody really aware of what the byproduct is? of refined oil is? I have no idea. Gasoline. No? Okay. So what do we do with it? We burn it or do we dump it into the ground? We are so inundated with plastic products that are so disposable. And if a little, our phones get scratched and plastic cover doesn't look good, we just end up throwing it away and getting a brand new phone that looks brand new and shiny. Yeah. And it, it, it drives me nuts that so many people aren't aware of this when you hear about people wanting to save the planet by the smaller footprint cars that don't put out as much emissions. Hell, the car is made of plastic, and plastic is an oil product, any way you look at it. It seems like it's a tight web we weaved ourselves into when it comes into society and the way the economics of it works. And I don't have the answers, but I just felt I needed to say that. And you did. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'm doing okay. Hey, man, I just had a quick question for you there, man. I'm doing my um, 9 to 5 thing in the IT industry. And, um, you know, always want more. It makes pretty decent, but... Always looking to go to that next level. So I'm just curious to know about yourself, though. Um, I was wondering if you weren't doing radio today, uh, what would you be doing to get to where you're at financially right now? Well, um, I certainly would not be a writer, which is uh, one thing I wanted to be when I was a kid. Would okay. not be, would not be a writer, <laughs> but uh, I would probably want to be involved in business somehow. Uh, whether it be as an executive, whether it be as a marketing guru, because I'm I'm all about marketing. Okay. I mean, I think uh, everything uh, we've uh, accomplished as a country, and believe me, most of the time we've had this fantastic economy. Um, I want to believe that uh, marketing is how we accomplish that. And, and so think, I think I'd I'd be in a marketing position of some kind. And you think that take you to where you're at financially today or pretty close? Oh, to I it? think I you know I don't be pretty close to it because I'm in a unique position, but uh, I, I certainly think I'd make more than a respectable living at it if I was good at it, which I believe I am. Right. 
Okay, I got you. Cool. By the way, I think anything that you're really, really, really good at that generates revenue, mm -hmm. you're going to make a good living. Okay. But the problem is most people don't want to be great. They just want to be good enough. Right. The <laughs> difference between being good enough and being great is the difference between having an average salary and having a salary like mine. I got you. All right. So you think that, I mean, but you think you do that working for someone else or you kind of spin off and do your own? I probably thing. would have started my career uh, doing it for someone else and ultimately would have had my own firm. I'm fascinated with marketing firms, advertising firms. Uh, it's a business I believe in. I come from a, an advertising family. My dad worked for the New York Post newspaper for 43 years. I believe in the power of advertising and marketing. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It is the engine that drives capitalism. I got you. Okay. Well, cool, man. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that and see what... Uh what would Tom be doing today? <laughs> well, now you know the answer. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. The Tom Likas show. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Wide open telephones. Don't forget tomorrow. Catch us from 2 until 6 Pacific time on 97.1 FM Talk. If your local station doesn't carry our Saturday show, all you have to do is go to blowmeuptom.com. Blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button. You'll have the show just like anybody else, for God's sake. It's Sam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Hello, Tom. Yes. How you doing? Great. That's good. Uh, you know, um, you know. I was just uh, introduced to your uh, show uh, just a few months ago, and I've been, uh, believe it or not, I've been uh, listening to your uh, radio station every day after work. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm married, 28. Uh, have a great career. I'm an accountant, make a lot of money and all that. Um, my wife is, uh, you know, uh, she has a career, make a lot of money, and we're, we 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 kind of uh, not relying on each other. We we financially we're both are stable and all that. But uh, you know, I've been married for four years, and and um, you know, the feelings are not the same anymore. And uh, I'm I'm having this crazy feeling about this other girl that I really like and all that. I, I just wanted to get some guidance, some idea from you. What do you think? Which way should I go? And I was telling the gentleman, I don't cheat. I don't cheat on my wife. Uh, never done it before. Uh, I'm a little confused right now. Do you want to be married? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's my only problem. What do you mean it's uh, your only problem? Uh, no, I don't. Well... Uh, then you shouldn't be married. Uh, the, 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 the problem is that uh, I, I, at the same time, I, I, I can't just uh, hurt her feeling. Sam, if you're not happy, you come first. That's how it works, huh? That's how it works. Yeah. How, are you, how are you doing her any good being married to her if you're not happy? That's the, uh, and I, as a matter of fact, uh, I gotta be honest with you. I'm miserable, you know. Well, then how right. are you doing her any favors by being there? Um, uh, I don't know. It, it's uh, it's more like a family thing, you know. If uh, if uh, if uh, if we uh, go through divorce and all that, you know, um, uh, if there's uh, there's more than one or two people get hurt. In Is this, this an arranged marriage or something? Um, no. But the families are very, very close. My in-laws and uh, her in-laws. Right, but you're miserable. Extremely. Tonight is a Friday night. You know, uh, um, I'm actually... Why did you get married in the first place? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. You got married because you wanted to make your parents happy. Hey, that's that's so true, and I'm blaming my parents for that because... Uh, that, that oh, was I'm not blaming thing. your parents for it. I'm blaming you for that. 
uh, 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 I'm actually blaming my parents because they they. Uh, it's not a their fault. Me. It's your fault. Why? Why weren't you a man? Why didn't you stand up? Are your parents from another country, Sam? Uh, well, I was we were I was born and raised in Australia, so yes, they're, they're they live in Australia right now. They're not even here. And your wife's parents are in Australia too. Oh, she's an American. Well, how do they get so close? Your parents um, and her parents. You know, uh, uh, business trip knew each other. They're not. Those. They're not that close. They not. No. No, they live ten thousand miles apart. <laughs> So, uh, any any other idea that you can give me? How many ideas, any? Sam? There's very few choices. Get yeah. a divorce? Don't get a divorce. Those are your choices. Get a divorce? Not what other choices are there? Commit you know, suicide. We had that one in. And, and and do you have like another thirty seconds? Then I can share one more thing with you. This other girl that I'm talking about, she, like she's just as. As beautiful as that wife, should not that. be the reason for doing this. <laughs> no, uh, the actual reason I'm telling you that this girl is willing to, uh, like, right now she knows I'm married and all that, but she's okay with everything and everything. You She'll know, have uh, sex with you anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Well, okay. There's a lot of chicks who'll do that. So yeah. she'll have sex with you anyway. Look, if you're not happy, you have to get out. Bottom line, that's it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Marie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? Hey, you know, you just, you made such a great point about 10 minutes ago about why are we not rewarded for not having kids? Yeah, people who have kids cost us a lot of money. And they get tax cuts for having them. Right, they get tax breaks, they get insurance breaks, uh, they get deductions. You know, I work in HR, and it's one of the things that blows me away that I have to give people time off, extra time off that non-parents are not entitled to so that they can tend to their children's school activities or, or all of that sort of stuff. Where the way I, I see it is, the way I see it is, having children is a lifestyle choice. Right. And if someone has time off to go have kids, why shouldn't I have time off to go off-roading or uh, uh, to go uh, kayaking? Exactly. Exactly. But I just, you know, it was just one of those aha moments listening to your show. I'm, I'm a first-time listener in the last uh, couple days, and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you for that. You take me out Kobe style? Yes, of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beast in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's the Tom Likas Show Wide Open Telephones on this Friday. We're taking the calls faster, we're taking more of them. If you've been trying to get in, uh, you will get in because we keep plowing through them, for God's sake. Elena on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. What do you think the uh, real estate market's going to turn around? At least a year and a half. Really? Yeah. Damn, why so? Because right now the economy hasn't bottomed out. There's so much money sitting around. Everybody's waiting for the bottom. Well, there's a lot of people who lost their jobs. I don't know if you're aware of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am. And if they've lost their jobs, what are they going to buy a house with? Oh, God. Well, I'm in real estate, so I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that it'll happen sooner than that. But I think, unfortunately, I think you're right. I have good friends who are realtors, and I'm well aware of that industry. And I own two houses of my own and bought one this year, and I spent a lot of time around the real estate industry. Uh, and I know you guys always try to put the best face on things, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do. there's not much out there that looks encouraging to me. I bought a property. I'll bet it's down. The value's down twenty, twenty-five percent since I bought it. I'll bet. Yeah, but that doesn't matter if you're gonna hang on to it. Well, that's my point. Uh, you have to look at the long term. Yeah, exactly. It's just uh, not a good market for flipping, but it's, it's still a good market if you're looking to hold on to something. Uh, no, no doubt. Well, it's, well, a good market, if you're looking to hold on to something, it's not a market at all. There is no market because you're not selling or buying anything. Uh, look, it's a great time to buy something if you can get money. But who's got money? Yeah, 
Well, that's a, that's sadly it's, that's the way it is. Let's be honest. Uh, when you go to work every day, how often do people come into your office who are not pre-qualified for a mortgage who could not be qualified for a mortgage? Oh my God, that just doesn't even happen. I mean, right now, how many people qualify? Well, you know, it depends on what on what price range they're in. I mean, if people are looking at uh, uh, at an FHA loan, those are actually pretty easy to get. Right, but what kind of credit uh, score do you have to have to get one? And how much uh, do yeah. you have to put down? You have to put down 3% and have a credit score of the 5. Right. And you have to have a job. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a job would help. Right. Yeah. Can I ask you one other question? Yes. What is it that got you uh, so uh, smitten with Latinas? What got me so smitten with Latinas? I, I, I. They are not only warmer. Uh, I American women. Sorry to say it. No, I'm not. They're bitches. You know, it's so. It, I, I, I it, for the most part, I got to say you're right. I mean, I just my mom was a warm mother. Very, all, all of my mom's side is so warm, and the other, it's just the way it is. You know, I when I'm sitting at a dinner table and a woman is putting cream in my coffee. That yeah. little, that little element is, 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 it, it just spells it out for you right there. That's how we were raised. Because yeah. your average Caucasian American is like, hey, why don't you do it yourself? You got two hands, do it yourself. <laughs> why don't you go, why don't you walk around, get the milk, come back and put it in the cup? Why do you need me to do that? To this day, to this day, my mother does that for my dad. That's what I'm talking about. Unbelievable. Hot lunch every day. She uh -huh. just caters to him. Uh, when, when, when I date Latinas, you know, I could be I, hanging around at home and I will get a phone call. Did you eat lunch today? <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> That's the difference. I, oh, I, I got tired of hearing bitching. Yeah, well, it's cultural. That's for sure. There's no doubt about it, and that's why I'm obsessed. Oh, well, good for you. Can you take me out tribal style? Of course, darling. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. Shorter commercial breaks, more phone calls, taking them faster. And now six days a week. Join us tomorrow from two until six. Saturdays two until six. The Tom Likas Show every Saturday. Two until six tomorrow, live from Las Vegas. Be here or else on 971 FM Talk in Los Angeles. And if you don't live in Southern California, you're the show by going to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 2 and 6 p.m. Pacific Time. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom Jocelyn on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> I got a couple things. First, I got a comment. I get to you about the kids, but A, they are a job all in themselves. They are your job that you voluntarily took on. Yes, I did, but if it's we not did our it, it's not our problem. It's your problem. No. But if we didn't have children, how could we all be adults? Uh, the fact is, people have children with or without economic incentives. You know, before the early 1900s, we had no income tax in this country, and therefore no tax breaks. And amazingly, people had children anyway. Well, I don't have them for the tax breaks. You uh, have them or, or any of the other benefits that you get. That back then, nobody got benefits, and people did it anyway. I'm not sure I'm always feeling the benefit. They are a job. They are a lot well, of work. Again, you chose it. Who told you to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm obligated by... You are not obligated to have children. 
You are not right. obligated to have children. You're an adult, and you don't have to do anything your parents say. And you, I know, just like you didn't have to get married, but we do what our parents. Well, uh, then, then, then that's the cross you have to bear, but I don't want to bear it. Well, you don't have to, but I do believe in your right to stay unmarried. I'm currently in the middle of a divorce, and I think we all function better solo. So There you go. I hope you win lots of money in Vegas. Well, I I hope I do, and I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see Pacquiao pull off an upset. All right, well, give me a hit, a bong hit, and I'll let you go. <laughs> hey, well, as a single mom, I know you need your bong hits. <coughs> it's 1-800-5800-TOM. Armin on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm basically, I'm a long-time listener, and I agree with a lot of things you said, but the only thing I want to disagree with you, it's about kids. Uh, if you take, uh, as a sample, China, they have law that they cannot have uh, more than one child in major cities. Now they have another problem. They have problem with the old population, and there is no uh, replacement generation for the old ones. So... In a single, in a single sample, uh, hey, uh, China's no a, China's economy looks like it's doing pretty well. Yeah, but uh, anyways, if you take as a single sample, men don't have any benefits to get married or have child. But if you take in a major, we're going to have big, big problem. If uh, more than ten percent or someone will decide uh, to follow you. Well, most people do reproduce. But those who don't will live a richer, fuller life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying to have a child and live it to the to the uh, end, uh, live the child without any responsibility or taking care of it. But uh, uh, anyways, you have to have child and continue the generation. And no, uh, you, do, you don't child. have to. But you don't have to. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for for most of the guys, yeah, there is no reason to have child and wife. But uh, anyways, that's that's how it was uh, from the beginning, from the first and the men and well, no, women. that's not true. Adam and Eve were not married. Well, I'm not saying to to be married. Well, I'm you said married, from the beginning. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying about marriage. I'm saying about uh, having child, children. I'm not married, and I'm living with my. Uh, I'm. I'm I call her Harris. I live with her for eight years. I have two kids, and I'm happy and I'm fine with that. We have agreement. We don't have to be married, and, there, and, and it's not going to change uh, anything. So you decided so, you needed to do the world a favor by gifting no, no, us with your no children. Favor. There is no favor. I'm, I didn't think to have children to continue generation for a whole world. I just want to have uh, some continue some generation after me. So it's just for me. And Believe me, some get... other poor, stupid person would have taken care of the heavy lifting. I'm sorry. Some other poor, stupid person would have taken care of all the heavy lifting. Well, <laughs> anyways, I'm big, big, big fan and blow me up, please. I certainly will. Sure, the guy who changed my oil recently. Probably, uh, you know, you didn't just get his hands dirty that way. Knocked up the girlfriend, I'm sure. That's why he's putting oil in my car. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Daniel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, hey, Tom. How's it going? Pretty good. Uh, I need to stop laughing from the other guy. It just cracked me up. But anyway, I need some advice. All right. Um,. I have this girl going out with her for two years, right? Right. Um, she told me she's on birth control. Got her pregnant. Why did you believe she was on birth control? I don't know. And, of I, course, you decided not to use a condom based on that uh, promise. Well, that's why, that's why she wanted to go on birth control, because she hates, I don't know, she's a really weird chick. No, no, now, she's not weird at all. Here's what she is. She wanted to have a baby from the beginning, and she manipulated exactly. you into doing it. And exactly. you went along. 
So what do I do? I mean, she's gonna. She wants to get married now. I'm only 23. You, you know? don't want to be married. You know what? I, exactly. I don't want. I'm like. I was like. I was like, baby, we do not need to get married to have a kid. You don't even need to be in a relationship. I, well, I mean, it just happened. I don't know. I mean, well, you just, do not need to be in a relationship. See, I'm a kind of guy. I mean, this is my actually like first real relationship. He's, I'm more like just having fun. You well, know? at 23, yeah. you shouldn't be having a real relationship. I know, you but she's banging pregnant around now. town. She's pregnant. That has nothing like... to do with anything. So you'll take care of your legal responsibilities. Exactly. But you are not going to get married or live with her. You're going to do what 23 year olds ought to be doing. Yeah, and but that if I don't live with her, she's going to take my baby. She's going to take it away. She's going to move to California or Maine somewhere. If I don't marry her, and I don't—I mean, I'm well. Then, I'm then that's my yeah. Food. So that's what? You want weeks. so so you want to get married to someone who takes hostages no. to a terrorist? It's, as long as it, I mean, she's—I'm pretty sure she will take my baby away, and I will not yeah. see that baby. And that's my—that's you my know what my baby. attitude would be if someone did that. Go ahead, go, uh, go. I, I don't know, man. I just—I just want you. You didn't want to be a parent in the first place. I don't want to. I, I'm so don't I'm, worry I'm about it. If I'm, she wants to leave town, let her go. But that's my baby, though. I'm Again, like, you didn't want to be a parent, right? She's like forced me. I mean, she kind of like blackmailed me or something. Well, go ahead, marry a blackmailer. We'll see how happy <laughs> you are. All right, man. I need that bong in. I'll get you. Out, I'll get out of your hair. I know you do. All right, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Um, boy, I don't have time. That's a good one online, too, but I don't have time. Let me get D in here. D, I got 30 seconds. I'm not kidding. Okay. I'm, I'm from Arkansas, and I'm living in Granbury, Texas. And I just wanted to say I was listening to your radio station. I think it's kick-ass. Right. Okay. All right. You know, and I don't know why all your callers, man. I think say that word? For God's sake, yeah. zero tolerance policy, darling. I don't care how much you've had to drink, for Christ's sake. We'll see you tomorrow, 2 to 6. It's the Tom Likas Show.